So this end problem started with the molar analysis, true? Well, what happens if they say the gravimetric analysis of the gas mixture is this, this, this? What I'll do here is I'm just going to copy this spreadsheet, go to a clean spreadsheet, paste it, but I'm going to make as much, reuse as much as possible. So we still have the molar masses didn't change, but instead of being Y, we're given those as our mass fractions. So it's a different problem, but it's 40%, 50%, 10% is mass fraction, true? So instead of thinking of starting with an assumption of the total number being one kilomole, start with the total mass being one kilogram, true? And so now I have 0.4 kilograms of nitrogen, 0.5 kilograms of CO2. If that's true, then uh, how many kilomoles do I have? Well, I take the mass... And instead of multiplying by the molar mass, I divide by the molar mass. Won't that give me the number of moles? And so then you work your way down here. So we find that the total number of kilomoles is this. If you started with one kilogram of the mixture. So what is our new equation for the molar mass? But the molar mass of the mixture is how many kilograms. We started with the assumption of one. And you have so many kilomoles, 0.0318, blah, 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 blah. So there's our, our molar mass of this new mixture. It's very close to the previous, but it's, it's not exactly the same because we were given information on a mass basis, not a molar basis. Okay. So now what is Y? our mole fractions, isn't that equal to how many moles divided by the total number of moles? Is that true? So we find that it's 44, blah, 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 blah. And then it adds up back to 100%. So if we started with 40% mass fraction, the mole fraction is 44.8. What about the partial pressure? Well, don't multiply by the mass fraction, multiply by the mole fraction, true? And drag down and clean up the units a little bit. But you notice still that the sum of the partial pressures is the total pressure, 100. They're not easy numbers, not, you know, they're, they're, they're fractions there. Let's do this. You have the total number of moles of 1.5, right, of this mixture. What is the volume? Is that the same volume? Well, the same temperature, the same pressure, the same total number of moles. Yes, it is. Well, as long as I use the correct molar mix, molar mass of the mixture, it works. And this is the same, and that's the same. So the, the rest of it works. So we reused quite a bit of this little spreadsheet, did we not?